Hi, welcome to the Dropcast Movie Poster Podcast. And today with me is Akiko Sternberger. How are you doing, Akiko? I'm doing great. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, we we, <laughs> we pretend like everything is fine, but we had a little session before <laughs> before yeah, we went Tom on the show. Yeah, Tom walked me through how to use an iPhone for about 30 <laughs> minutes. So it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I am like, tail between my legs right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least we talk about art, then you can get that tail up up again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is um, this is part of the New York Comic Con release uh, circle. I mean, there have been a bunch of releases already out, and we are covering basically every other day an artist um, that has released in this window. Um, how, how is your Comic-Con experience? Have you ever been? Uh, yeah, I was uh, part of a panel maybe oh, that's three, right. I remember. three years ago. That but, was my first time going to Comic-Con and uh, it'll probably be my last because it was just so crowded and crazy. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, when I'm around so many people, at once I start panicking so uh, it was great to cross it off my list um, but I also was able to uh, score an original spy versus spy ink right. drawing so that made it all worth it good it for fun. you good for you yeah I and of say. course meeting everybody on the panel was great too yeah you met like Rory that he was there right or yes that's the first time uh, I met Rory and we since then we've been total buddies and uh, he's he's great, you know. Of course, we got to work together on Logan, and we uh, bounce ideas back and forth for other projects that we're in, independently working on. So yeah, he's he was a great uh, friend to 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 uh, acquire from that. That's awesome. That that yeah, that sounds really cool. I mean, um, also, for, uh, but that you only have been to San Diego, right? Never to New York. Uh, I've only been to San Diego. Okay, because yeah, New York Comic Con just happened, and yeah, lots and lots of releases. Have you seen any of the others except like maybe your your June partner Greg, who couldn't make it tonight? We we talked, but he wasn't available. But um, yeah. Um. Yes, I did see the other poster as well, and then I've been seeing what's been released uh, on the streets, you know, through Warner Brothers and not through Mondo. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's it's been great to see all the multiple pieces. Being yeah. Printed. That's that's awesome. I mean, uh, the thing is, you haven't seen Dune, but in Europe it has been out since uh, September sixteenth, so we know all about it. But uh, we all about it. it's 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 totally weird that uh, Europe is getting it first, basically. But I don't know. I I heard there was some deal going on with like I think it's the the Warner Brothers home deal because I think it's coming out like around the same time or something like that. Is is it about that? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. So have have you been working on this one? I'm I'm gonna show this piece because it's really beautiful and different, and I like that. And then there have have been two other pieces, one by Greg, as we mentioned, and Tread Moore, did also one, a comic book artist. And uh, yeah, your piece is uh, 24 by 36 inches, an edition of 175, and the colors are amazing. And uh, I'm r really excited to talk about the concept here. Great, thanks, Tom. Um. Yeah, let's uh, let's talk talk about it. Um, what was the idea behind it? Have did you did you do everything via Mondo, or was Warner Brothers more involved? Because this is like a big, big, big thing. I mean, this was game. straight through Mondo, which I was really excited about because I know that if I had worked on it from you know a movie poster advertising agency side, they would have wanted to go more traditional, mm -hmm. just because Warner Brothers always tends to be that way, and so. I mean, the, what's out on the streets is well done, you know, <laughs> don't get me wrong. But uh, when Mondo asked me to work on it, I knew that I could do something completely left field. And so I really wanted to take that and run with it. You and, know, I, yeah, and, and this one was the, the first idea for it or? Um... This was the first idea. I presented two other ones as well. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely wanted to go more I guess with my other ideas, I wanted to go more Polish because everything I'd seen hmm. previously done, I wanted to take a step from that and, and really take this opportunity to, to make something different. Yeah, sh so. should I should I show the those images that you provided yeah, here? Okay, perfect. Yeah, this yeah. this is the the abstract face uh, face Polish poster. I mean, we we talked on the podcast when you were on and uh, for the interview, uh, we talked about about Polish film posters because you uh, you really enjoy them and uh, yeah, and so um, what was the idea behind this one? 
Um, I think it was just trying to, again, take it away from what we could kind of predict would happen for this film, you know, a more epic, more uh, mainstream. And so this one was just playing with optical illusions and really trying to get trippy and, you know, just when I saw the two moons, I was like, why not take advantage of that? So, I mean, it was, it was, it's not too dissimilar from kind of what became my first poster, but, um, um, but yeah, I just wanted to play around with, with different things. Mm -hmm. And, um, as, as we can see in this, uh, on the, on the left side there, that, that's your sketch, right? This is, this is the first yeah. stage of doing things. That, this is how you do it, yeah. right? This is just to show idea and composition and kind of a feel like what I attached with it was kind of a, a direction I was thinking of going just because, you know, how I do so many different types of illustration styles. I always like to inform the client of what kind of illustration style I'm doing because I think it's super important because certain illustration styles really make certain ideas come to life. Mm -hmm. Whereas something more realistic wouldn't have worked for this idea. So it's, it's always really important for me to share that from the beginning so that I can also manage their expectations. And uh, we also know that certain tricks can only be done a mm -hmm. certain way. Is, is, is this the style, by the way? I mean, this I have to say, I don't want to like blame, like put blame on anybody else, but this is the most professional <laughs> work in progress images <laughs> that I have gotten. And it is. Uh, it, it is. It is. In, in I mean, I've seen some people's sketches. They're they're so much yeah. more put together. Yeah, I, I don't I don't mean sketches, but I mean I think the the inspiration where all this well it comes from. I think that's that's what the difference is here. And like, okay. as you mentioned, like showing it uh, to the client, I, and, and I, I was wondering if that comes from the, from the paid poster, uh, like key art world, is, is, is that where, why uh, you do this or? Yeah, I think so. Because I'm sure all the guys at Mondo have, have their, how do I say it nicely? Um, they're more <laughs> creative, so I don't have to really spell things out and they're more open to okay, things. Okay, yeah. So I think it, it almost, yeah, I think I'm just used to the other side of it where you kind of have to spell things out a little bit hmm. more just to make it clear. Because also those clients are seeing a million ideas. So they don't have all that time to really take the time to, to kind of see the potential, whereas I, I might have to spell it out a little quicker for them. So that's why. <laughs> okay. And so, yeah, this this idea obviously didn't make it, but uh, you had some other um, some other approaches that did make the cut. And one of them um, or like that was helpful was this spice sand simple. Uh, you see, it's a simple on black, but but let's talk through this. I mean, you have, for example, you have the poster there uh, of Matt Griffin's June. Uh, like he did for the cover and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, what, what was, uh, what was this? I mean, obviously the sand and the spice is pretty, uh, pretty easy to understand where this comes from, but yeah, um, think, yeah. Again, it was just trying to really simplify something and, and I liked the kind of idea of <clears throat> not knowing whether it was sand or spice. And uh, yeah, again, it was just me trying to think of, all right, what are they probably going to print for Dune and what would be completely different from that? Again, we're used to epic skies, a big adventurous mm -hmm. scene. And, you know, of course, when I was looking at inspiration and looking at all the posters that had been done for previous, you know, or other interpretations of the book, everything kind of felt like a direction that, you know, Warner Brothers would go. So I really just wanted to, to really change things up and, and see how much I could really simplify things. Mm -hmm. so. um, when we look at the end result here, I'll just pull this up here. This is you used where where did it come in play? Is, was it by uh, was it uh, on the top with the figures or where did you put the spy sand uh, idea or was it never used at all? Um, so this is what I presented to Mondo. If, okay. if I remember correctly, the order of what I presented was probably the one that they went with. Then yeah. uh, the abstract face, and then the last one I presented was the the, the spice sand oh, one. Okay, then so I sent it all at once. Oh, okay, okay. So I, I was just gonna pull this up here, the the sand lines, and yeah, this you you can talk about that here for a second. So then we're gonna go back to the final. And uh, yeah, those those um, I mean, you work with aerial shots and like the the uh, did did you basically lay it on top or was it like did you did you like have like a reference for it to trace or like how did you? Uh, for 
for the picture of Timothy? Mm, yeah, that and also the the sand lines. Or did you did you create them on your own? Okay, so um, you know, obviously when I mocked it up, I was just trying to show them mm -hmm. quickly the direction I was going and that Lady Gaga inspiration that I attached. I was really attracted to how that looked, and so um, obviously when I was looking at pictures of the desert, I got really. Uh, obsessed with these sand lines that happen when the wind blows mm. so i think that's where that idea came from you know and and so um i originally picked in the inspiration a, a different shot of, of timothy to reference but they thought he looked too sad so um i was provided a, a little bit of, of unit photography and so i found a better one of, of timothy where he looked a little bit you know more brave and, and mm -hmm. less scared so um i think that was definitely the the reference point for what the the actual finished poster became mm -hmm. the idea reminds me a lot of uh, lenticular posters what's is that ever something you would consider doing a lenticular hmm. i mean i guess so i mean are you thinking that in the lenticular the 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 waves would move or the sand lines would move or, or you'd see the people or maybe have like on one on like on from one angle it's going to be Timothy and on the other angle it's going to be Baron Harkin or whatever like like the antagonists <laughs> here or something like that. Yeah, I mean that's a great idea. Or or Timothy and uh, like Paul and Chani. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, that, well, that'd be good. With with the sand lines, I think that that, that goes here. But I don't know if that if that works if the sand lines are <laughs> not in a straight line, <laughs> if that's printable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's a great idea. <laughs> but yeah, um, the 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 purple sand, uh, like like purple, yellow, not not yellow, but purple, orangeish. Why did you choose those colors for it? Um, I think you know because the idea already seems so kind of trippy. Mm -hmm. I wanted to pick more acidy, trippy colors, and um, you know, if you're just doing desert colors, it could feel monochromatic and, and a little boring. So. I really just wanted to to kind of take this idea and run with it. And, you know, when I was looking at desert photos, too, I would find these amazing photos where the colors were just so vivid and mm -hmm. bright. And, and, and so I, I, I really use that as inspiration as well. Oh, OK. And um, the typography used uh, used a regular one or did you create this one? Yeah. Or, yeah. No, it's 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 the one. I mean, obviously, I simplified it because mm -hmm. the ones that are on the the ones from the studio they're dimensional. So I really wanted to to kind of uh, scale it back so that it felt cohesive mm -hmm. with the style of the illustration. All right. And uh, did you see in the progress? Like, I mean, we we talked about Greg and Ted's. Uh, piece here a little bit and I sh I've, I've shown that on the other podcast um, but did you did you like talk to them while you were doing it and like so no actually I had no idea that other artists were working on this until I was talking to Rory because I know Rory was also kind oh, of okay. um, approached to make something for this too so he was the one that let me on that that multiple people were making pieces which actually I was so relieved about you know because this is kind of a big movie yeah. to do a poster for. So if it all fell on me, I would feel it would be too much pressure. <laughs> so knowing that there were other artists working on it, I was like, oh, great. You know, it's, it's kind of like when I work for a movie poster agency versus a, a studio. Like when I'm working straight with a studio, it's just me. So I have a lot of responsibility. And if a client wants a certain thing, I can try to talk them into certain things. but. You know, there's only so much I can do. Mm. So um, when I work for a movie poster ad agency, there's actually other designers working on it. So that gives me an opportunity to be less responsible and kind of play around a little bit more. So it's actually more freeing. And um, I know that with some designers, they actually, when they hear other people are working on it, it turns them off to it. But for me, I was like, great. Now I can really kind of just do my yeah, thing. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And um, I uh, so are, are you by the, by the way? Did you tease that Rory Rory is gonna do a piece? Uh, he was originally, oh, but okay. he okay. actually had other projects oh. that he took on. So yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. when I found out Rory was on it, uh, we were of course you know we were we were making we were you know we have a banter between yeah, us. Yeah. I was like Rory, if you're on it, then I'm bowing out because <laughs> like, <laughs> but um, but it, it, it was it, um, yeah, and so like you know. 
in the beginning, he was like, what are you thinking about doing? So I told him and I showed him some ideas and he's like, oh, I had kind of a similar idea. And I'm like, even if we had the same exact idea, we would definitely execute yeah. like execute it completely differently. So I don't mind that at all. Yeah. Okay. And um, how, how's, how's your relationship to the 1984 movie? Ah, uh, well, you know what? It's been a long time since I've seen it. <laughs> and um, I actually knew someone that worked on the film and I knew from them that they didn't want to hold that this new film doesn't hold to the David Lynch film. It's a completely different thing and it's closer to the book. So I knew that going in. So that was a great kind of jumping off point, especially since mm -hmm. I wasn't provided the screener or I wasn't provided the script. So I knew that I couldn't really use the, the, the Lynch film as a reference. Uh, I have to say, I mean, they went pretty close to to the to the Lynch film. I have to say, overall, really? overall, it's. Okay. I mean, there are differences um, and the look, obviously, but I think they went kind of the. Uh, you can definitely see the the parallels here, but there there are differences, but I think it's not that far fetched and totally something different. So yeah, so how excited on on a scale from zero to ten? How excited are you for Dune? For for Dune, I'm excited. I'm excited to see it in the big screen. You know, to see it on the big screen, um, because I know that it was supposed to be released a long time ago, mm -hmm. and I I don't feel watching it from home would yeah be remotely close to as effective, especially with these crazy scenes. With the, you know, with the forms. And have everything. you been back to the cinema yet, or? I have, I have. I've probably been to maybe two or three. What have you seen? What have I seen? Um, I saw the Anthony Bourdain documentary. Oh, that was great. I, I love that one. Yeah, I, it was I cried. Great. I, I saw, cried. Yeah, I know. It was great. And then Zola, which I really, really loved. Yeah. Uh, Zola was actually the first film I saw in theaters, and I was so happy because it was such a great film. And, oh, awesome. and I was so happy. I, I was so excited to be in the theater again. So, yeah, I yeah. I have that on my watch list, but I haven't seen it yet. But uh, I I I love the trailer already, so I'm excited to see what's what's it all about. <laughs> great, great. And um, so June, yeah, you have to see it in IMAX. I have to tell you that I I have seen it in Dolby in a Dolby th cinema, but okay. the three I, I watched it all, both times in 3D, and uh, the first time it was uh, it was too dark. Because a couple okay. scenes are really dark, and then the 3D effect makes it even darker. And then I've seen it in IMAX, which have a different projection um, uh, te technical things. And so you've seen it three times. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's nine hours of your life. I know, Tom. I know, I know. But it's, uh, it's, uh, I, I at least wanted to see it, like at, at least an IMAX. So and like the like, yeah. and I wanted to see it right away. So the first time I was I was only available in uh, like at, like at the time I could watch it because like the the original versions, the English versions in IMAX, they most of the time they have like afternoon like matinee kind of like uh, uh, screenings. So for me as a teacher, it is sometimes good to go, but like. Like I sometimes I have to work at, at the time they show it, so I couldn't like watch it right away in IMAX. So I had to see it once in Dolby, and then watch it in IMAX, and then watch it in IMAX again. So. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's so that's so crazy that you saw it already last month because I know someone that works on it, and they were still seeing one of the last cuts before they weird. released it here, and that was maybe a month ago. So I don't. No, maybe how, that was the final cut then. <laughs> maybe, but um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm definitely excited to see it in the theater. I can't. Wait. Awesome, yeah. Then uh, definitely let us know in the comments of of this podcast when it comes out on uh, Friday. Yeah. Uh, let us know yeah. what uh, you uh, how how you liked it and so on and so on. And also, don't forget, people. I mean, it's probably gone by now when this podcast comes out, but uh, the poster <laughs> is on sale uh, yesterday. And um, yeah, is it on sale? I thought it's gonna happen tomorrow. Oh, okay. We're 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 talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, it's gonna happen tomorrow from when we're recording. But when this comes out and people see it, it's gonna be yesterday. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. So yeah, it's probably gonna be sold out by then because you know how this works. Uh, this game and uh, the posters right now, or or maybe not because people spend too much already on posters this last two weeks. Maybe and now they have. 
free choices. Exactly. So who knows? You know? So get get those get get your choices in, people. You know how it works with Mondo. And uh, I really love Akiko's poster. My my friend, he's a big Dune fan, and he said yeah, he loves your poster because it's um, so drastically different different from from the ones he has already. And uh, so oh, he he told me I, I should I should get get him one. It's one way or another. Oh, so. Please. I mean, like I said, I mean, the, the, it, it was so awesome to see what the other two uh, artists made. It, it's just so great to see how people interpret it. So yeah. I'm really excited about all three of them. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, last but not least, uh, do you have something you want to tease or promote? Is, is something else coming out in the future? Yeah. I mean, um, I because of my book, we never had um, an official book release because mm -hmm. of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So uh, in November, I'm actually having a release where a lot of my posters will be on display. I'll have some original artworks for sale, um, some artist proofs of screen prints that may have been sold out, mm -hmm. you know, through Mondo and through other, uh, through other companies. So um, if anybody's in the Los Angeles area or they want prints, they can DM me directly. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that's going to be exciting. I'm very nervous about it because, you know, a solo show and and uh, uh, it's been something I've been working towards for a while and uh, you know I'm, I've been having anxiety attacks about it but it's a great thing and um, yeah I'm excited that'll be next month so yeah so stay tuned uh, get over to uh, Kiko's uh, Instagram account or other social media forums uh, your uh, I put it in there down there Dor derivative I don't know how to derivative derivative okay <laughs> like Yes, like derivative, yeah. but with joy. Or derivative, so. Okay, that's that's how it is, people. Um, go go there, check it out, and uh, yeah, leave leave a follow, subscribe, and uh, or comment, and you will find out all about this show. Alrighty, Akiko, thank you so much for coming on. It's been a pleasure as always, and uh, I will uh, we will talk soon, obviously, and uh, probably good luck tomorrow. I mean, yesterday on Thanks. selling out. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday. <laughs> exactly. All right, take care. Bye bye. All right. Bye, Tom. Thank you.